Deb got this mirror from the local home goods recycler so we could build her mom a mirror for Christmas. It's the only glass mirror on hand, so it's a little small, but it should, uh, should fit the bill just fine. The local uh, trim shop went out of business, and so I was able to get a bunch of wood at a super huge discount. So for this project, we'll be using some ribbon sapelia that I got uh, when I purchased that wood. So the wood was super wonky. I'm sure it's been sitting around for quite some time, so I cut it to rough length and then laid it on the mirror so I could kind of get an idea of how I wanted it to look. Uh, it took a ton of joining and milling to get it to it, so it was a workable size, and I think I lost a considerable amount of the width off of it just to get it uh, to a point where we could actually make something. After I got done milling it, I went over to my router and put a simple little chamfer on there uh, just to give it a little bit of a shadow line and some interest. Uh, I recently sold my table saw with the router wing, so I'm not doing this in the safest manner, uh, but please don't do as I do. After that, I put a little rabbit on the back of each piece so I had a nice spot for the mirrors to sit. Then I marked out my ultimate inside lengths for both one of my rails and one of my styles. I went back to the table saw with my miter sled um, and cut each pair. After a quick dry fit, I was ready to glue up. I don't know if you uh, have ever used one of those vices before, but I got one at one of the Woodcraft Christmas deals, and it uh, was like seven bucks. I will never be without one again. They're super handy uh, for gluing up any sort of a box shape. I couldn't believe how fast it, um, it made this process and how accurate it was. So, way better than tape, in my opinion. After the glue was dry, we headed back to the table saw to put the glue in for the spline. So getting ready for Christmas, I had a bunch of projects in the shop, um, and I ended up losing some video for I think probably every project, and for this one I lost a ton of video, so we have to jump right to the finished project. Um, I think it ended up looking pretty nice. It was a pretty good scrap project, and I think that little bathroom mirror got quite an upgrade. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, hopefully you found it entertaining to watch and if you think someone else might be inspired to go to the local home recycler and start there instead of Home Depot, uh, go ahead and share this video with them and hopefully it inspires them too.